Hey YouTube, it's get that centered up. It's Christian with Tech Stop Repair. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a AMD Phenom 2 uh, X2 560 Black Edition uh, dual core processor. Um, I picked this up at Micro Center for about a hundred dollars, and it came with a free motherboard. If I can back out here, and you see it. That's another video though, so stay tuned. Right now I'm going to be unboxing this processor. Um, if you've watched any of my videos before, you've seen that I've done a lot of unboxings for AMD processors. I used to be a really big Intel fan, and I, I, I really still am a big Intel fan, but um, considering the price to performance uh, that you get with AMD processors, I've kind of switched. Um, I'd love to have an AMD pro or an Intel processor in the future, but just right now, AMD processors are just dirt cheap, um, especially with a processor like this. My main purpose for getting this particular processor is that a lot of people have had a lot of success unlocking the two dormant cores on this particular processor and other uh, Black Edition um, dual core processors from AMD. Uh, so. If all all works out, which this board that I bought is the uh, AMD M4A7A or 78LTM, it has core unlocking. So we'll see if I'm successful in unlocking this processor. But if I am, if it's an excellent deal, you get a, a Black Edition quad core processor basically um, for a hundred bucks, and uh, it runs it a stock at uh, 3.3. Gigahertz. It obviously is uh, unlocked, so you have the unlock multiplier. Uh, so I, I don't know. I've got a uh, in my uh, gaming PC. I have a uh, 965 that I've successfully overclocked at 3.9 gigahertz, uh, stable, and it's on uh, water cooling. So um, theoretically, I think you should be able to get a similar performance out of that. So it's uh, a dual core processor. Uh, runs stock at 3.3 gigahertz uh, with a hyper transport of 4,000 megahertz. Um, it has uh, 512 of um, L2 cache, 6 megs of L3 cache. It is a 45 nm processor. Uh, it supports MMX, 3D Now, SSE, SSE2, SSE3, SSE4A, Advanced Bit Manipulation, AMD 64 technology, AMD virtualization technology, enhan and enhanced virus protection, whatever that means. Uh, it runs at 0.875 volts to 1.4 volts, um, and it is an 80 watt, uh, it has 80 watt power consumption, so it's relatively low power consumption considering that it's running at a stock 3.3 gigahertz. So I'm going to open this up, and we'll take a look. If anybody's got a micro center close to them, I highly recommend them. Right now, for the last year and a half, it seems like they have a buy an AMD processor and get a motherboard for free, so you really can't beat that. Kind of curious to see. This box is a little bit smaller than my uh, Black Edition uh, quad, so I'm wondering if it comes with the same heat sink with the uh, heat pipes on it. Let's take a look at that first and see. So we had the processor there, as you can see, instructions, and I do have a sticker for all of you who know that I love the stickers. This one actually came with a sticker, unlike that uh, six-core processor that I unboxed a while back. Oh, look at this little mini CD with AVG antivirus on it, and mm, let's see. No, which is kind of weird and disappointing all at the same time. I'm not going to use this cooler, but you'd think if they're going to sell you a black edition processor, they're going to give you the nicer heat sink. I mean, this one's actually, I think this one even looks a little lighter than my uh, Athlon 2 quad core processor. But who cares? I mean, most everybody who's going to buy this processor is not going to use a stock heat sink. I mean, it is really any anybody who used to complain about uh, Intel's heat sinks. I mean, come on now, this is about as bad as it gets. But I can't complain because it's still a great product, cheap. 
so we're not buying it for the fan. Let's take a look at this processor here. And this is an AM3 socket processor. Uh, it is backwards compatible with some AM2 Plus boards. Um, I was running my quad when I originally got it in an MSI 785GT-E63 AM2 board, AM2 Plus board, and it ran just fine. I have since upgraded to a nicer board though. DDR3 memory support. Not much to see there. It's a processor. So, there it is. Tell me what you guys think. Stay tuned for my other unboxings, and I am going to do some benchmarks, and obviously I'm going to try to unlock the two dormant cores on here, so make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.